And if we're going to take a stand here, it means, one, I claim my space. That means I pray for my house. That means I pray for my family. That means I pray for my church. I pray for all of the people that I come in contact with that God has put in my life. I pray for all of them because I claim my territory. You understand? I claim my space. And so standing is about, I'm going to stand in the space. I own the space. So when it calls us to stand, that's what is really happening. But standing is not just about space. It's also about action. It's a thing to do. It means that we stand when the enemy is attacking and the flaming arrows come. I love this imagery of flaming arrows because it really makes you think about it. You know, when the Bible talks about flaming arrows and things like that, like the air, it's a lot of the time it's like the words that people are saying. They're just like these flaming arrows that are coming. And so what happens is it says when you take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, you see, the evil one comes with the little fiery arrows at you. But if you have a shield of faith, all the flames go right off of that shield. And when I'm talking shield, I'm not talking about some little round thing here. I'm talking like the full body style of the Romans. You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this? It is like this big, okay? And they can just stand and like you can hide behind the whole thing and nothing is going to hit you if you hang on to it. If you hold it, if you stand your ground, you claim your space, and you stand with that shield, the arrows are not going to affect you. But what happens is sometimes we get scared by the arrows. And when the first one hits, <laughs> we drop the shield. And if we do that, right, we're exposed. But the idea is that we claim our space, but that we also stand. We need to take a stand in this world today. We need to stand for something important. We need to stand for Jesus. It's where it starts. The author and perfecter of our faith is Jesus Christ. That is the thing that changes everything. Let everyone swirl around. Let them talk all their crazy strategies and, and life lessons and self-improvement. Go ahead, let them talk all that stuff, but share Jesus. And that, dear friends, is the truth.